We have a tradition that on one occasion Napoleon disguised himself in regular clothes and decided to mingle with the locals and find out what people were saying. And he went from place to place until he walked into a synagogue. And unknown to him, he walked in on Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the Jewish calendar. And he sees Jews sitting on the floor instead of on chairs. And they are weeping and weeping, and the cantor is reading from a scroll in a mournful tune. And he asks his advisors, what is this people so upset about? Find out what has happened. And they come back to him, and they say that they are mourning over the destruction of the temple. And he asks, temple? What temple? I certainly didn't destroy any temples this week, and I'm pretty familiar with everything that happens in the world. I don't know what they are referring to. And they come back, and they tell him they're mourning over the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem some 1,600 years ago. And he was astonished. And he remarked, any nation that this many years later is still mourning, I guarantee they will see happier days. They will see their temple rebuilt. And it's a powerful story. You know, we live now 400 years later, and a lot has changed. We have so many gifts, things that our ancestors would have only dreamed of, religious freedom and relative prosperity. But nonetheless, we are to always remember something is missing. This is not a perfect world. For thousands of years we have said, Ani ma'amin be'emuna shleima be'vias ha-Mashiach. I believe with perfect faith in the coming of Mashiach that a day will come when there will be no wars and no hunger and no jealousy and no competition where we will have a new sensitivity to our spirituality and a new love for Torah and mitzvot, a new love for one another. This is the world that we have always dreamed of and this is the world that even Napoleon admitted we will one day see. Have a great Shabbos.